Many were the night that Manuel and I had discussions about the golf swing over the telephone. One topic we were unable to resolve was his contention that the arc of the swing moves forward during the forward swing. I was confounded by how the player maintains their balance, their center, but the swing moves forward. One afternoon, Manuel was being visited by his daughter. Learning that her cell phone could capture and send a video, he took her into the backyard and filmed this video. In the video, the hoop on the club represents the arc of the swing, and he demonstrates how the arc moves forward without the player losing their balance. And so it was that I came to understand that the bottom of the swing moves forward, and that is why the divot occurs after contact with the ball. Watch and learn this seldom understood action of the swing. The purpose of this is to take the club and put it three inches in front of the ball. And you'll notice that the hula hoop does not change its direction. If you did that with your hands, then the hula hoop will change. Whether you do it that way or do it this way, it changes. If you do it with your body, it, again, you cannot put it in the same position that it was at address. Okay. Here from, from there as well as in, from the front. If I put the clock in front of the ball, nothing changes. If I do it with the shoulders, it does. If I do it with the hand that way, or if I use the hands differently, it changes. So this kind of proves that if you're swinging the club and putting the clock in front of the ball in the same position that it was at address, you have to hit the ball very straight. Okay?